Welcome to this short video which will aim to demonstrate how to track student progress using Google Sheets. There are two aims to the following video, the first being creating a gradebook in Google Sheets to track progress over a set period, for example such as over a termly period or a full academic year, and the second aim opening data from Google Forms in Google Sheets. So the first one we're going to do is to go ahead and create a gradebook. So the, the, way, the way to do that is to open a new tab with your Google homepage, click on the waffle icon as it is known, and then click on Sheets. So if you watched my previous video, you'll know I spoke about how to assign quizzes to your students, but I did not show you how to then track progress of those quizzes over a weekly basis, for example. So what we're going to do is open a gradebook. So it could appear here at the top. If not, you can click on the template gallery and you'll find it within the education section. So we click on gradebook. So a fitting title for this will be weekly quiz progress, as that is what it will be for. So when you open any gradebook template, you will get some example data already input for you. So we, we will need to get rid of that before we start inputting and populating this gradebook ourselves. So I'm going to be inputting data for two weekly quizzes today. So we can put our titles for these in here. So each week we can enter whatever the title of our quiz will be. But a good way to do that could be simply to put weekly quiz one and weekly quiz two. Okay, so now we're ready to actually input some data from the results from our quizzes. There are two ways to find this data. We can either go straight into Google Classroom, find the class we assigned it to, find the assignment, and then we go into the responses and we can upload the data into a spreadsheet from there. Or we can also do it by going straight into the form itself. So we go into our apps, go down to forms, and then if we look for Grammar Quiz 1, we will find it here. Either way works fine, as long as you have only shared this quiz with one particular class, which I have done so. Just a point for you, if you click on responses, you will get some nice results displayed for you. So you can see average score, median score, the range, and some nice graphs, frequently missed questions, the names of the respondents, and then each question broken down into how many people got it right and how many people got it wrong. But today we're looking at how to get this data into a spreadsheet. So if we click on create spreadsheet and rather than creating a new spreadsheet, we're going to select an existing spreadsheet, which is the gradebook we've just created, which was the weekly quiz progress. So as we can see now, the data from the quiz is now appeared here. So we've got the time at which the quiz was completed, the email address of the respondent, all of the mine as I've filled out all of these quizzes, the scores, the names, which is the important bit for populating our gradebook, and then also all the answers they've put to each of the questions. So first thing we should do is to give this sheet a title. So we know it is uh, grammar quiz one. And then before we can actually add these names to our gradebook, we need to put them in alphabetical order to have consistency throughout our gradebook. So if we sort A to Z, 
and then we can copy these names and then paste them in our grades sec in our grades tab here and then we can add it in the class section here so before we add in the grades we can add in this second um, row underneath the title of the weekly quiz we can add in what the quiz is out of so both quizzes are out of five and then we can look at what each student got as it's in alphabetical order unfortunately we can't copy and paste the scores as they are as they are as they have a forward slash in them so we can just enter the first number by typing it in so we have three four two and that is the order they will appear in as we have um, put all the students names in alphabetical order so as you can remember it was three four and two three four and two so as we can see now we start to get a average score for the class in this row here and also some grades as well as these are low stakes quizzes it you may feel it's appropriate to actually get rid of the grades so all you'd like to maybe see is the percentage so what we can do is just highlight all the grades here and then delete them so then all we see is the percentage of the students the result so it's the, you'll see a percentage what they got and an average class score and obviously the raw marks as well so from here what we can now do is look to add our quiz from week number two so the way we do that it is again we can close this tab now go straight into our forms again you can do this via google classroom as well but for the purposes of this video i'm just going to be going straight to google forms i need to find grammar quiz 2 and then we look at the responses we click create a spreadsheet select select an existing spreadsheet which will be our weekly quiz progress select so now we can see we have our three gradebook tabs here which all have their purposes which i'll explain again at the end we have our data from grammar quiz one and now if you title this one grammar quiz two We can go about doing the same thing so if you remember to alpha put these um, names in alphabetical order sort from a to z so we can see now all these students have now got four marks five out of five so we don't need to copy and paste the names so now we can just input the scores into here so we can put five 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 so we can see the average score is five And we can see the percentages have now gone up. So from here, this is all the data we have so far to input into our gradebook. However, this can, this data has now been able to produce some pretty interesting graphs and graphics. So if you look at the overview, we have no grade distribution because we got rid of the grades as it's a low stakes quiz. So we don't want to put any extra sort of stress on the student. And then if we go across, we can see the averages for weekly quiz one and weekly quiz two. So we can see the differences and the disparity between the two quizzes. So we know the second quiz was full mark. So we can see how the difference between the first week and the second week. So we can see which students have improved and so on. But another cool feature of the grade book is the individual report so you can select we, before we actually select on a student we can actually just look at the class average so from weekly quiz one to weekly quiz two we can see it's gone up from 60 percent to 100 percent and obviously as you add in each week by week this will become these gaps will become smaller and it will be able to see hopefully an upward trend or maybe a steady stagnated sort of trend or even a decline
whichever whatever the data will serve to show but also from here we can go on we have three students that we've inputted, inputted so far so we can click on one here we can see the, the class average and the average uh, the sorry the class average between week one and week two and then this individual students um, score between week one and week two which are identical that's why we can only see one line if we select a different student so we can see the slight difference here so the class average was actually lower on week one and then as they both got to week two they were actually they met at the same point however this individual student's original score on week one was actually higher than the class average and again I can show you for the third student again slightly different again so we can see the class average was actually higher after weekly quiz one than the individual student here and then as they got to week two they both meet here 100 percent so this is a good way to track student progress over a given period of time and can help you to produce cool graphics that you can share with students and you can even show parents at parents evenings to help visualize the progress that that student has made so thank you for watching this video goodbye